just put in work in the gym, now it's time to put in work with these videos. Guys, remember, as always, comment, jump, J-U-M-P, down below in the comment section if you want a free vertical jump training program. And if you want your question answered in a video just like this, make sure to leave your question down below in the comment section. And what I want you guys to do is thumbs up any questions that you see in the comment section that you also would like to answer to. So if you see somebody ask a question and you're like, oh, that's a good question, I wanna know that answer too, give it a thumbs up and the ones with the most thumbs up and the most likes, I will do that question next. Today we have a question from Zen1985 who says, hey, what do you think about overcoming isometrics? I think they are very useful. I think they are very good. I think everybody at one point in time in your season, in your periodization, should use overcoming isometrics. What are overcoming isometrics? Overcoming isometrics is when you push or pull against an immovable object. So think about a, a squat rack that is, so this one is not bolted into the ground. I can move it. You can't do overcoming isometrics on this squat rack. Now, if I put a thousand pounds on the bar and try to do a bench press or a deadlift, then of course I could do overcoming isometrics on the squat rack. But think about a squat rack that is bolted into the ground and think you just have a barbell and you are pushing the barbell or pulling the barbell as hard as you can against an immovable object. That is an overcoming isometric. The other type of isometrics, which most of you are familiar with, are called yielding isometrics. So yielding isometrics are just where you are holding positions with a set amount of resistance. It could be body weight, you could be holding weight, but you are holding your body in certain positions. You're just holding that and you're holding a set amount of resistance and holding it there for a certain duration or amount of time. Now, both of these are very good. We're not comparing as to which is better because they're used in different occasions, different scenarios. You should use them at different times for different things. So what I'm going to do is talk about the benefits of both. So the benefits of overcoming isometrics where you are pushing or pulling against an immovable object, there's, there's, it's plentiful. There's so many benefits. So benefit number one, if we're talking about basketball players and vertical jump, is it's safer and it's a reduced risk, reduced stress on the body and the nervous system in general. So think about a heavy back squat, a one rep max or a two rep max back squat. You're loading 315 pounds on the bar, let's say, and you're trying to get one or two reps, okay? You, what you are doing is you are increasing your strength, you are increasing motor unit recruitment, you are increasing rate coding, but what if you could do that same exact thing? What if you could reach that same exact goal by doing an overcoming isometric with just the bar? You can increase rate coding and you can increase maximal strength with just the bar in much less risk. Now, motor unit recruitment is just your body's ability, your muscle's ability to recruit more muscle fibers to use in any certain lift or movement or sporting activity or dynamic muscle action. So think about, think about you have, think about you have a little brother and he's trapped under a car. I know we're getting a little dark. And you're you're trying to lift up the car and you can't lift up that car because it's a, it's a car. And you're trying to lift it up and you're like, yo, help. And somebody else comes and then they grab the car and then somebody else comes and now more people come and you got eight people and you're all lifting the car. That is motor unit recruitment. When one of your muscle fibers fail, more and more come to help and you can, you can reach that goal by doing heavy weights or you can reach that goal by doing overcoming isometrics. Rate coding, on the other hand, is all about speed. It's the brain ability to connect with the muscle in the, the connection between the muscle and the brain and how fast that occurs. So we need both. We need motor unit recruitment and we need rate. We have both regardless of what we want, but we need to improve both motor unit recruitment and rate coding. And we could do that with overcoming isometric. A few other benefits would be potentiation and firing up of the nervous system. So if you do an overcoming isometric and then you go to jump, um, you are likely going to be potentiated and you will jump a little bit higher than it had you not do that overcoming isometric. There is neuromuscular synergy, which is your muscles ability to work together. So let's say you're doing a bench press and overcoming isometric, you're just, you have the bar and you're pushing against the pins and you're just trying to move it and you're just trying to just push as hard as you can for five to 10 seconds. Um, and what that is going to do is allow your pecs, your, your chest, your triceps and your shoulders all to work together and to get synchronized together pushing against that bar. And then last but not least, I almost forgot this one. This one is very important, especially if you want to jump higher, is you can get very specific with your joint angles. So if you're doing an overcoming isometric, you could do a back squat is one that I like, a back squat overcoming isometric in your two foot jump position, your joint angle, the angle of your hips, knees and ankles,
rules. When you do a jump, you can uh, mimic that with an overcoming isometric back squat. You can do the same thing with a trap bar deadlift and you could pull against the pins in a joint angle position. You could do a split squat where you have one leg inside a trap bar or you have one leg and the straight bar is underneath your leg and you just pull in your single leg joint position. You're just trying to break the floor. You're trying to push into the floor with that single leg as hard as you possibly can. Or you can do a bench press against the pins. I'm not gonna get too much into the upper body stuff because I know most of you are interested in the lower body stuff that can help you increase your sports performance, your vertical jump. Moving on to the benefits of yielding isometrics. Pretty much, you're going to get all of the same benefits from yielding isometrics that you get from overcoming isometrics, just not as much. So overcoming isometrics are like yielding isometrics on steroids. The thing about yielding isometrics is where you're just holding in, in, in certain positions and you're, you're doing body weight or you're doing a little bit of weight holding dumbbells or you know holding a kettlebell in a single leg knee extension hold. What this is going to do and what this is going to be really good for is tendon health because it's not as intense, it's not as draining on the nervous system as overcoming isometrics. So don't get me wrong, overcoming isometrics are hard. Pushing or pulling against an immovable object for five to 10 to 15 seconds is very hard. It's very draining of the nervous system. So you don't wanna do that for knee pain, okay? For knee pain, you want to do isometrics that because your body, your tendons love isometrics. You wanna do isometrics that are less load on the tendon. That's gonna be a lot of load if you do overcoming isometrics. So yielding isometrics are specifically good for tendon health. So overall, just to answer your question, what do I think about overcoming isometrics? I love them. They are very good. They're a very good tool to use within your vertical jump journey, within your basketball and sports performance journey. And as I do this video and I just give you a bunch of random information as I answer your question, this just makes me want to dive deeper into this topic. So maybe I will do another video on this topic and get much deeper into the details, bring out some research studies and give you that. But as of now, that is it for today's video. Leave your questions down below. Thumbs up and like the questions that you want me to do a video on and comment, jump down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow at 9 a.m. Peace. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've made it this far, you truly are a real one. I do have a special offer for you. If you've ever been interested in my programs or my coaching, if you've ever wanted me to personally coach you and help you get results, all of that is available right over here. You can click that link, it'll take you, and you can sign up today, and we can get started and get you some crazy results. Peace.